Hey, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Coast, and I'm back again. Did I tell you, did I tell you, did I tell you? And I've been telling you for a while now, the Pope is a puppet. The Pope is an installed puppet, guys. And uh, it doesn't get much worse than today when the Pope was uh, telling us that homosexuality is basically no big deal, uh, especially in the church. This Pope is an installed puppet, guys. Make no mistake about it. I knew as soon as Pope Benedict, quote-unquote, resigned, uh, you, you don't resign as Pope. You don't. I, I, knew, I knew as soon as that happened that there was some other hand at play, either China or George Soros installing a puppet Pope as a means of... Uh, as a means of demoralizing Christians everywhere, demoralization. It it is either China or or Soros. That's who I'm betting is behind this. Uh, China most likely because uh, they've already tried to infiltrate the U.S. W with all these uh, Marxist movements, the uh, BLM and Antifa. These are all communist organizations. Uh, and they've been slowly eroding these these structure, the societal structure of the Western world, which is centered around Western values, which come from Christianity. And so, what they've been doing uh, is they've been trying to infiltrate the church. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to uh, to install some kind of uh, homosexual cardinal or or pope or if the pope uh says oh yeah by the way i'm gay or something like that i, I would not be surprised at this point uh what they need to do is they need to remove that guy immediately immediately like yesterday they need to remove him and i've been calling for his removal on twitter like like, whee! <laughs> like screeching about it for the past uh, two years, maybe two years. Yeah. So yeah, this Pope is definitely a puppet. Um, there's, there's no two ways about it. Uh, I guess someone was like, oh, well, uh, you know, we could just install a new puppet Pope. And thankfully the Pope is not God because what the Pope has been, uh, has said today is totally anti-Christian and it is an embarrassment to every single Pope that has come before him. He's not worthy to set foot in their shoes. He is not worthy to don that robe. He is not worthy of anything befitting of a pope. He is not worthy of any of that. He's not worthy of any kind of recognition. He is supposed to be the spiritual leader, and he is nothing more than a puppet. That's what he's exposing himself as right now. This pope has exposed himself as a fraud. He is fraudulent. Everything he supports seems to be anti-Christian. Uh, the core beliefs of Christianity, he, he just meh, kind of meh about it. Doesn't even he has this kind of new wave lefty view of of Christianity where everything is is accepted, including the absolute debauchery and degeneracy that goes hand in hand with the LGBT lifestyle. Uh, like just seeing, have you ever seen uh, those kids? that they bring to the, to these parades where they have grown men in these like, uh, gib suits or whatever, uh, like doing all kinds of degenerate nonsense in front of kids, boys dr in, in dresses, just utter, utter disgusting nonsense. Things that God tells us not to do, that God destroyed entire cities, burned them to the ground for, and you're going to try and promote that within the church. He's a puppet. Wake up. So, yeah, this Pope is uh, is a fraud. Um, n no one is going to take his word seriously uh, that is a Christian. I don't take his word seriously. It is all so planned. Uh, it is, and we can see the plan unfolding right now. And if you can't see the plan, then you, you are lacking brain cells. Like, it is so obvious what is happening. Um... The church needs to wake up and stop being a bunch of pussies or else someone who has the balls to do something will do something. Like, they have 
people infiltrating the church, uh, all these um, uh, homosexual activists, uh, these people that, that are in the church saying, oh, well, uh, I'm gay, but I still believe in God. They're, they're, they're nothing but activists. They're, they're, not, they're not true Christians. They're activists. They're doing what they were, they were sent there to do. They're cultural Marxists. They are uh, activists. Cultural Marxism being that uh, everything is right, everything is is you know is okay, everything is acceptable, everything's on an even playing field. Nothing is better than another. Basically, pluralism, um, and that's not true because some some things are better than than other things, and that is objectively true, and we see that. Uh, marriage, sex is. It, you know, it was meant to be. Uh, between a man and a woman. Marriage, sex, all that. Uh, as it was meant to be. Is under attack. Biology, sanity, is under attack. Reason is under attack, and uh, the slippery slope <laughs> that we were warned about, what, 15 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, and maybe the early 2000s, like maybe 2001 through 2005-ish, that we all took for granted, uh, when all these pastors were trying to warn us where uh, gay marriage would head, now we see the results of it, people thinking that they're freaking dragon kin and walking around in furry suits, uh, degenerate gimp suit parades, um, when people were trying to warn us that this is what was going to happen, uh, and that a whole generation of kids would be corrupted by it, um, we didn't listen. And now it's better to fight back now than later. And what we can do is we can take the fight to them. Uh, we can demand demand accountability from our churches. Thank God uh, for people that still have sense, for people that can see just how planned it all is, that can just see the, the plan, um, the, the sinister plan unfold. Uh, thank God for them. Because it's, it's, it's an insane clown world out there right now. And we, we as a society, are, thanks to uh, these Marxists that have have fl tried to flip everything on its head, um, we as a, as a society have to have to fight back, and we have, the only way you can fight back is to say no. This is what the Bible says. This is what God says, and this is what God has done. You can't change that. No one can change that. We will always know the truth that this is not normal. This lifestyle is not normal. Uh, God is the final word. He is the final truth. Not some dude, some pope, or whatever, who doesn't even bother to adhere to God's word. Lord knows why he's who. Who knows why he's pope? Um, I, I'm I'm guessing they pay, they must have paid off Benedict or something, or uh, threatened him with something for him to resign. Uh, but yeah. There, there's no reason for this clown to be pope, and even a few cardinals. Uh, I saw this video. One, one African cardinal was saying that Europe is losing its way, the West is losing its way, uh, because they're allowing all of this crap to happen to them, and they're just like, they just don't care about it anymore. Thanks atheism, thanks atheism for creating a giant vacuum, uh, a vacuum for people's faith. Um, but thankfully people are starting to come back to God. Uh, thankfully people are, are slowly realizing why Christianity is there. Uh, Sargon of Kars, and I'm going to release a video on, uh, my opinions on Sargon. Uh, hopefully, uh, at some point this week, but, uh, he, he was saying like, even he, an atheist, admits that the four horsemen of, of atheism failed. And they did. They failed. They failed miserably. They, they didn't 
well, why I while I disagree with him in that in his assessment that they destroyed religion or exposed religion, uh, religion wasn't really exposed. Uh, religion has come back stronger than ever. I mean, but there's still a fight that we have to fight. Yeah, we can't give up ground. Re religion is being revitalized. I I think thanks to the internet and um, cultural revivals going on in places in in former Marxist countries like Russia. Uh, and honestly, I don't know why we're still having sanctions against Russia. Uh, we should be allies with them. But of course, all the Chinese propaganda through all these news outlets uh, warning us about being allies with Russia because, you know, my Russia and reasons. I mean, Russia isn't, isn't a great place to be, but it's, it's no longer communist. At least it's not China. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point I was trying to make. Uh, even Sargon, of, even people like Sargon of Akkad are realizing that Christianity was right. Uh, we tried to warn you guys, we tried to warn you guys. This is this was always the the end result, and now they're trying to le they're trying to legalize pedophilia. And you people saying, "Oh, it's not going to happen." Watch, watch it happen. And all you LGBT morons who were brainwashed by this movement, it's all going to be on you. It's all going to be on you. You're going to be the reason why pedophilia gets legalized. You're going to be the reason, and there's no there's not going to be any stopping it. Watch. Watch, just watch, <laughs> just watch, and and then you're gonna get mad about it. But you'll have no one else to blame but yourself. We told you about the slippery slope. If you have a man and a man, then it goes downhill, downhill from there, downhill. Well, actually, they started woman and woman. They they try to to they always try to to reel the men in by putting two women together. Oh, you see these two beautiful women. Oh, lesbianism isn't wrong. And then you look at the lesbians, and they're like. Why are you acting like a man? There's all there's always a masculine looking one. There's always a feminine looking one. Like ninety percent of the time, you know, the, the you can always tell which one is is quote unquote dominant. Um, and there's always going to be like that. Uh, and it's just like you have serious problems in our society. And we're fighting about uh, racism, more racism, or some stuff that happened 300 years ago that no one really cares about. Uh, yeah, uh, welcome to 2020, guys. Get with it. Look, we have serious threats to a society, like our threats to our church, infiltration into our church, infiltration into our society, uh, people trying to change the way we think about God. Uh, because it's not s socially acceptable right now. Um, God never changes. His nature never changes. Uh, and there are things that are against his, his nature that are offensive to him. And he will meet out punishment. I mean, you, you best believe it. So I know this has been my little rant, but like, it's just been, uh, triggering beyond disbelief. Just seeing, um, this how far these people have sunk. Um, I called it. I called it back in in 2018, uh, way back, even before then. I called I called it out. Puppet Pope. Ha hashtag Puppet Pope. Yeah. And it just seems like sometimes it just seems like no one's no one uh, no one listens until it's too late. Thankfully, the Pope is not God, so uh, praise be to God. God knows what 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 is what is ultimately right, and he uh, he has said it. You know, homosexuality is, is a sin for a reason. It breaks down so society and the social fabric. Uh, we see it happening now. Um, we see what women who think they're men and people who are regretting uh, transitioning. Uh, the the ex trans of the world, the ex gays of the world that they're trying to say, oh, they, these are just plants, guys. Like, you know, this doesn't really happen. 
the ex gay, you were never really gay, like, and I've seen that, you know, I've seen people walk away from that, and, uh, there's hope for people like that, but if you tell them, oh, like, you know, it's wrong to even ask them to repent, like, where's the, where's the hope in that, you know, oh, it, it's, it's not wrong to be a, to be a freaking weirdo using someone's, someone else's butthole as, you know, your, you know, as a vagina, it's just, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, but, you know, it's just like, there are so many, uh, you know, and it's not wrong, uh, being, being trans. I mean, there's nothing mentally wrong with you, but like people freak out when they, when you call them by their old names or tell, tell them factually, Hey bro, you're actually a male and you're not a female. So like, you know, I'm not going to enforce your delusion, you know, and people get get all mad about it. People get triggered about it, um, and it's it's gone too far. It's gotten to the point where people are thoroughly annoyed by it. I think uh, the support for the LGBT movement is going to crater. It's already started to drop. It's already starting to drop. Support for it is going to crater. There's a lot of resentment, uh, and people are just sick and tired of it. People are sick and tired of being told that uh, anything is ex- as acceptable when they know darn well it's not. Anything is obse- is acceptable. Uh, a man marrying a man is acceptable. A, mar- a man marrying a shoebox is acceptable. Uh, it, it, you, you start to see, if there's not that objective standard of man and woman, of biological necessity, and, uh, you know, just... Bi- just uh, biological dimorphism and all that, you know, it just all these, if there isn't that objective male, female, like everything else, you know, every, everything else that, you know, every other mammal or whatever that, that God created, um, or, you know, most of the life here on earth, uh, if there isn't that male and female as we were meant to be designed, uh, it all breaks down. I mean, that, that's why you see these lesbian couples, they have the highest, well, among the highest domestic abuse rates. Uh, it's very high. And people that say that it's, it's not a mental issue. I mean, just look at, look at the transsexual su- suicide rate. How are you going to tell us that it's not, that it's, it's completely normal when we know the facts and the truth will sell you free. Uh, God is truth. And that's why he scorched Sodom and Gomorrah. They defied, they they defied uh, and defiled the place. They filled the earth with sin. Um, you know, and the, as a Christian, I believe that you can repent and you need to. I mean, that that you know, people struggle with sin all the time, and you know, I struggle with sin. You know, but it's part of being a human, you know, but you can't tell people that like, oh, like this is normal. No, sin is not normal. We all know deep in our hearts that it's not normal. We all know uh, deep in our hearts that, uh, you know, that a man and a, and a man can't make anything and a woman and a woman can't make anything. They're, they're, why would you, you know, there's nothing there. Like you guys can't do anything. I mean, I mean, it, there's nothing really there. I mean it'll be a disgusting abomination. I mean, of course, I mean, it's, there's nothing that could, uh, that can match the purity of a man and a woman coming together. And actually they, they are the only fo- force, uh, that have the power to create anything to, to make another life. Uh, and they, they want their cake, but they, they don't, you know, they want their cake and want to eat it too. And it can't happen like that. But anyway, this has been kind of a long rant. Uh, the Pope is a disgusting and sick puppet. Uh, matter of fact, uh, the Pope is probably installed by either China or George Soros uh, because China makes it their mission to infiltrate. That is their style. Uh, and we need to wake up. We need to seriously wake up as a society uh, and purge these people, these communists, these cultural Marxists from our society before everything breaks down and you won't even recognize your society anymore. I'm telling you, you won't recognize your society anymore. You didn't take the slippery slope advice the first time. This is my, well, our, you know, consider this your 
second warning for those who still don't believe in a god or don't believe that anything is worth fighting for. We warned you about gay marriage and where it would lead to before, that if you have a woman and a woman and a man and a man, you might as well have a man in a shoe, a man in a unicorn, um, or, you know, just everything breaks down. You see how every standard breaks down with that one, you know, a man and a man could get married. Yeah. Uh, we warned you about that. And now you're, if you're not careful, if you don't push back against it, like the Muslims do, the Muslims still are very, you know, anti that. But, um, you know, you don't have to be a Muslim to, to recognize degeneracy when you see it and to not have want it in the church. And people might say, oh, you're not compassionate. No, uh, not towards sin, I'm not. No, no. And I don't, I don't care if my own son, you know, if I had a son and he comes out as gay, no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't, I don't care. I'll, I'll just, I'll disown it. Um, and as all of my Christian viewers, uh, uh, that's just a random, uh, ridiculous pope, uh, the puppet that he is being pulled by this cultural Marxist, uh, bought out. They must have had some kind of blackmail for Pope Benedict, that's what I'm thinking. They probably blackmailed him into resigning uh, just so this new puppet could be installed. But make no mistake, uh, this new pope is definitely anti-Christian, uh, the Antichrist, and you'll see a lot more degeneracy coming out of his mouth uh, in the coming years. He is the Antichrist, and if anything, Pope Benedict is the true pope. So, we're, we're in tough times, guys. We are, uh, and this is a test of our resolve. So uh, this is a test of our resolve as Christians and uh, whether or not we're going to remain true to our faith or whether or not we're going to cave into these cultural Marxists, these these people who, who see uh, everything as being on the same playing field. There, there's no right and there's no wrong. There's just, uh, there's just, what what atheists call blind pit, pitiless or blind pitiless and indifference uh everything is just uh everything is everything right that, that cheesy saying i hate that love is love right i hate that saying so much because it's not true uh and once you point out the flaws and and the logic of things like that then you know people start to wake up but You've got to keep fighting the good fight, and you've got to keep fighting for traditional marriage. You've got to fight against degeneracy. It's it's it seems like a lot. It seems like a lot, but we have the tools to fight against it. We have the truth, and we have God. And the Pope is not God. No matter who installs, <laughs> who's installed as Pope. Uh, by these big wigs with money. Money is in God, the Pope is in God, and God doesn't change. And all of you evil people will see justice. All right, to Boycos, uh, take it easy.